doing research on this topic, it's, it's like gambling. You never know when you win. But once you win, uh, well, that's great, right? In the experiment, the heat conduction takes place in a tube. It's a superconducting transmission line. And we put two resistors at the ends of the tube. And by measuring the little temperature changes of these resistors and how they affect each other, we were able to extract the thermal conductance through this tube. And we obtained the result that it is quantum limited. The cryos that is basically just a very sophisticated fridge. It, it's a super refrigerator. It cools down from the room temperature to temperatures which is just one tenth of a degree to almost absolute zero. We need cryostats because we have to cool these chips down to very low temperatures. We used photons because they can travel very long distances without scattering. We have photons coming from the sun to the earth and they travel very long distances, so we know that photons are good for long distance thermal transport. What we've seen now is a fundamental effect. We have seen 10,000 times longer distances in the maximum good thermal conduction.